Hello everyone. So now we are going to do one lab here, VLAN lab. In this one, we are going to learn how we can add the VLAN and how we can remove the VLAN. So I am doing this lab in the EVENG. In that one, we will select here. If you see IOL, I will select the IOL. This is a default image. It is working like a switch. So we will take that one and you can put here SW and give the number here. Example, I will say. I need two switches so I put two this is the icon we can select this any icon and remaining thing we can keep as it is and click save so you have two switch now we can say this is the first floor this is the second floor and we can take some computers so go at last you will see here you have the VPC here we can select example like uh, six VPC I will take and everything remains same we can put the name as a pc and click here so you have the six we can connect here like we can say we will uh, change this uh, we name we will change we can give one pc1 pc2 if you see I have this one we can say this three PC we can take here PC one two three and four five here and six here we can put in different VLAN and we can say we have first floor and second floor I will connect this switch we can say SW1 is in first floor and SW2 is in second floor I am connecting here two PC or 3 PC here we will take 3 PC here and we can uh, take any VLAN we can say like VLAN 1020 let's take 2 VLAN I will say VLAN 10 okay I will take this color and here we will say this is for VLAN 10 I will put this here this two PC belongs to VLAN 10 and this PC belongs to VLAN 20 we can give any color here same thing I can duplicate I will say this two PC belongs to this one PC belongs to VLAN 10 and this one for 20 this is just example we can take anything and we can power on the device also I will power on this switch I will power on this switch and the PC also I will power on here and then we can refresh if anything is struck here you need to refresh the browser if any option is not working you can refresh and check so here like I am, I am unable to select the PC then I will refresh that one so I power on the device here also I power on I can put the label I need to right click but it is not coming then I can refresh like this and you can put here the label like whatever label we want to put example I will say this is VLAN 10 and name I can give as a IT and IP schema we will use 192.168.10.0 slash 24 this is for VLAN 10 we will use here and here and we have VLAN 20 so I will duplicate and we can say this is for VLAN 20 <coughs> here I will write VLAN 20 duplicate here and we will put here VLAN 20 and the IP schema will be different VLAN 20 we can give other name HR and IP subnet will be different here this one we can write 20 here I can change and I can write here also 20 ok and this PC is having some issue I think now it is ok and this one is off so let me power on this also so now all devices are on now so let's do the configuration here I can take the console of this PC <coughs> and we can check we have IP show IP is used to check the IP we don't have any IP here if you see 
if you want to assign the IP, we will write IP and give 192.168.10.1 give it and slash 24. This way we will assign the IP to the VPC. If you write show IP, we don't have any IP here. We have the IP. Before we don't have, if you see here, we don't have the IP, but now we have the IP here. So you can save, you can type save, so it will save the IP. Same thing you can do for this machine. Here write show IP, so you will get the no IP we have. If you want to assign, you can assign 192.168.10.2 slash 24. So I am giving the 10.2 to the second PC. Save the configuration, write show IP to check the IP here. So here we have 10.1, this is 10.2 and here I can put 10.3. So I can go here, I will write here, show IP, then IP 192.168.10.3 slash 24. Save here and then write show IP, so we have the IP here. So VLAN 10 PC, I assigned the IP, now we are in the VLAN 20, so we will take this PC. I will configure here 192.168.20.1 slash 24 and then we will check and we will save the configuration. So we have here IP, so this one is good. Now let's do the same thing, 20.1 we assign, now we need to assign 20.2. So I will write 192.168.20.2 slash 24. I will save here and write show IP to check that one 20.2 and here this one write here IP 192.168.20.3 slash 24 then save and write show IP so we will get here 20.3 so we assign the IP address now we can do the configuration here in the switch so switch configuration is simple now I am doing directly so first we will change the name of the switch with the host name SW1 and we need to create the VLAN so I will write here VLAN 10 I can give any name like IT then I can create VLAN 20 I can give the name as a HR HR or what we are saying HR here I will correct here we are having the wrong name here HR we have here so I created two VLAN here, now I need to put this two port in the VLAN 10. So I will write interface range F0 or E we are using E0 by 1 dash 2. Switch port mode axis, switch port axis VLAN 10. Then you have one more interface, this one interface E0 by 3 then we write switch port mode axis switch port axis VLAN 20 I save here and one more thing I need to configure trunk if you see interface E0 by 0 this interface is connecting to another switch so this should be trunk so we will write switch port mode trunk so if you see here this command is not accepting because this is a layer 3 switch so if it is a layer 3 switch we need to write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk now it become trunk so first you will write this command then you will write the next command so it will become the trunk so everything is good here and we can go to the another switch here and go here do the basic configuration what we done here same thing change the name of the switch create the VLAN we can write VLAN 10 is a IT VLAN 20 is this HR assign the port you have interface E0 by 1 this port E0 by 1 is in VLAN 10 so we write switch port mode axis switch port axis VLAN 10 then we have another interface we can write interface range e0 by 2 dash 3 these two interface I am taking here switch port mode axis switch port axis VLAN 20 I done and we need to configure trunk so I will write interface e0 by 0 then switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q then switch port mode trunk this command we need to write first you need to write this one 
then this one if you want to configure trunk between the layer 3 switch if you are having the layer 3 switch and you want to make this interface as a trunk then you need to write this one so now we done the configuration and after that if you ping the same vlan will work this is in the same vlan so we have ip here 192.168.1.3 it will work i think 1.3 no not 1.3 10.3 because we are using here for vlan 10 we are using 10. Dot. So this is 192.168.10.1 IP is pinging to 10.3 it is working. But if you ping the other VLAN it will not work other VLAN is having the 20.1 it will not work. Different VLAN will not work anyhow. 